In this chapter, I want to open your mind to the concept of system building. The problem with building discipline really boils down to consistency, constancy, and feedback. While keeping a journal can definitely go a long way in helping you monitor whatever solutions you have come up with over time, it's simply not going to be enough. While a journal can do a good job of helping you compare where you are from where you started as far as your self-discipline level is concerned, you need to be more proactive. You need to adopt a pattern of behavior as well as a pattern of thinking that pretty much sustains itself. Let's be honest here. If you're listening to this audiobook at this point in time, you're really pumped up about getting more discipline. Maybe you have a clear understanding of the benefits of this trait. Perhaps you were trying to get yourself out of a difficult situation. The problem is, once you start building self-discipline, it's very easy to lose track. It's very easy to just let your emotions get the better of you. Maybe your work shift changes, perhaps your relationships go through some turbulence. Whatever the case may be, you get thrown off track. You may not be as passionate or as energized before. Before you know it, your efforts at building self-control and discipline go down the tubes. In other words, your personal journey starts to look more and more like how people tackle diets. If you've ever gone on a diet, you should know exactly what I'm talking about. In the beginning, you're all excited to avoid certain types of foods. You stick to your meal plan. However, sooner or later, all sorts of details from your personal life kind of throw you off track. You start thinking that maybe I can cheat for one day, and that cheat day turns to a cheat week, which quickly turns into a cheat month, and before you know it, you're off your diet. The same applies to building self-discipline. You can't just play it by ear. This is why I suggest that you build a system. When you use a system, you tap into a personal mechanism that is more sustainable. Also, you tap into a way of doing things that can be broken up and diagnosed in modules. You don't have to either accept it wholesale or throw it away wholesale. You can break it up. You can mix and match and drop things that don't work for you. Moreover, when you act in a systematic way, you produce more predictable results. You're more likely to get the outcome that you expect. Setting up your own system framework. First, let me begin with the bad news. The bad news is, I cannot out just cram my personal discipline building system down your throat. This doesn't work on a one-size-fits-all cookie-cutter basis. What may work for me may not necessarily work for you because we all have different sets of personal circumstances. After all, we all come from different backgrounds and we have different experiences. You have to account for all those differences. This is why I'm just going to suggest a framework and then you fill it in based on what's going on in your life as well as your experiences. First, you need to adopt a tracking system. This is your journal. Start out slow and low, but eventually stick to common daily parameters when doing your journal. Next, you have to adopt some sort of process. This is a multi-month plan. You have to hold yourself accountable by setting up targets. Say to yourself, now I eat 3,000 calories a day. Once a certain amount of months pass, I can get that down to 2,500 or 2,000, so on and so forth. Use such multi-month plans for discipline building in different areas of your life. Also, make it a point to actively identify and seek discipline building opportunities every single day. When you look at your daily routine, see where those opportunities typically occur and make full use of them. Constantly challenge yourself. You can even set up your daily tasks reorganized along your discipline goals. This is how you build a system that sustains itself and scales up results over time. This is also how you hold yourself accountable. The chances of quitting decrease dramatically if you are using a discipline building system. 